Okay, so now we're going to look at coplanar and collinear. Coplanar and collinear are two terms that talk to us about the location of certain items. And the key words you're going to look, the key thing you're going to look for here is in vote geometry, when you look, over, look at vocabulary, you can pick out root words that'll help you determine the meaning of a term, even if you're not sure. So let's take coplanar and collinear. You see the word co. Now, where have you seen the word co before? Co-worker, cooperate, coordinate, uh, co-champions, correspond. Co means to work together. So co basically means together. So when you're looking at coplanar and collinear, you're looking at the idea of being together. Planar means plane, so together on the same plane, and to collinear means line, together on the same line. Always look at the root words. So let's look at coplanar, or let's look at collinear first. The definition of collinear is points, segments, or rays that are on the same line. They lie on the same line. So that is collinear together on the same line. And notice it's points, segments, or rays, okay? It doesn't just have to be points. Collinear can be points, segments, or rays because those are all things that lie on lines. So let's look at a couple of examples here. First of all, let's look at the points P, A, and L. I'm gonna add another point here. I'm going to add an S up there, okay? So we have P-A-L-S. We'll look at point A and ray L-P. We're going to look at ray P-A and ray L-A. We'll look at segment AL and segment PL. We'll look at segment PS and ray AL. And so let's check these out. Okay, so let's determine if these are collinear first of all. Are P, A, L, and S collinear? If I just had PAL, the answer would be yes, but what's wrong with the S? The S is not on the same line. So the answer is no, they are not collinear because the S is there. If I were to take the S out and just ask for PAL, yes, collinear, absolutely. All right, so we notice that the definition says points, segments, or rays. So it can be any of the three. So let's look at the next one, point A and ray LP. Well, let's look at the line. Is point A, and ray LP, are they on the same line? Yes, they are. So this would be yes, they are collinear. How about ray PA and ray LA? Well, I have ray P that goes through A and ray L that goes through A. Are they on that both on that line? Yes, they are. How about segment AL and segment PL? So I've got segment AL. And then the larger segment, PL, are they on the same line? Yes, they are. They're both on that line. How about segment PS and ray AL? Well, ray AL is here and goes here, and segment PS is here. Okay, so ray PL, or sorry, it's ray AL and segment PS. Are these two on the same line? No, they are not, so those would not be collinear. So that's how you determine if points, segments, or rays are collinear. They have to be on the same line. So let's look at coplanar, okay? Let's look at coplanar. Let me see if I can get the paper up here far enough for you to see it. Okay, coplanar. Now that's a point, segment, ray, or line that lie in the same plane. So now we're adding lines because we're adding another dimension. So I'm looking at these two pictures and let's look at these and see if we can make some determinations. So on the first picture, on figure one, let's say uh, L, W, and O. Okay. S, L, O, and W. 
segment OW in ray, so sorry, segment OW in line LS and let's see here, ray OS and segment LW. We'll do that. Okay. So we're going to determine these. Now, even though I've written these out, even though they're not connected, you can assume that those points are there. Okay. So for example, I have o segment OW. You would just imagine that you had a segment drawn from O to W. I said ray LS. You're just going to imagine you've got ray, a ray that goes from L through S. Segment LW is right there. Okay, segment OW I've already drawn, ray LS, ray OS starts at O and goes through S. You can see now why sometimes they use fewer points. So let's see if these are all coplanar. Are L, O, and W all coplanar? That answer is going to be yes. Remember, any three non-collinear points will always be a plane. So if I give you three points and they're non-collinear, they're automatically in the same plane. They can form a plane. How about S, L, O, W? No. They are not coplanar. They are non-coplanar because the S is not in the same plane with L, O, and W. This is your problem. How about segment O, W and line L, S? Well, segment O, W is here. Line L, S is here. O, W and L, S. The answer is no. They are not in the same plane. OW is in the flat plane. Imagine the S as a line that goes through your paper, like a pencil that's pierced your paper. LS comes through here. They are not in the same plane. How about ray OS, which is right here, and segment LW? No. Those are non-coplanar. Some other things that you would have to look at, again, when you see the little dots, that means that it goes through and that's going passing underneath. That'll help you with the 3D. Okay, so look at this one. I'm just going to give you some things that are coplanar here. Segment DE and line ID, those would be coplanar. Okay, whereas, whoops, let's say I had ray RI and segment DE, are those coplanar? Yes, they are, because RA and DE are in the same plane. Which point extends outside the plane and is not coplanar with the others, non-coplanar? That would be the S. So if I tried to do something, for example, um, let's make this point X. If I wanted to give line S X, and I wanted to see if that was coplanar with segment ID, no because ID is a segment that's in the flat plane and S is not, so that would be no. Okay, 